now five hundred years, awesome to behold. He has made us all new. We belong to this fall. The gospel is a blessing. So a mission to the poor and the children. We bring His salvation to the rest of the world. His message of compassion to all of humanity. His challenge of conversion. We are blessed.
gospel is a blessing, but also a mission to the poor and the children. We bring His salvation to the rest of the world. His message of compassion to all of humanity is challenge of conversion. We are blessed, we are loved, we are called, we are saved.
the angel of the Lord declared to Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glorious resurrection to the same Christ our Lord. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The name the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Crap. 
Prayer to San Lorenzo Ruiz O God, our loving Father, Your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered Himself and sacrificed to You for the love of humanity. Inspire us to love You with all our heart to the point of sacrifice. Your providential hand led your servant San Lorenzo Ruiz and companions to the land of Japan to imitate the sacrifice of Christ and to proclaim the gospel of truth and the message of salvation. He beseeches you through the intercession of these holy martyrs that we be given the grace of remaining faithful to you always as they did, that the light of the gospel illumine all corners of our Christian motherland and of all countries near and far for your greater honor and glory and our sanctification. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. San Lorenzo Ruiz and Companions, pray for us. Priests of the order of preachers, the layman Lorenzo Ruiz, and their their team companions, be given in future the title of blessed and that their feast be celebrated annually on the day of their heavenly birth in the places and in the manner established by law. Let the morning star 
accompany your way. Spread the fire of mission for the Lord. We stand before the grand horizon. Five hundred years of faith, grateful today. Good afternoon. Today is Saturday of the 22nd week in Ordinary Time. Our priest presiding is Reverend Father Andy Ortega Lim. Please all stand. Good day, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Good day din po, Father. Let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness for His full of gentleness and compassion. Altogether, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that greatly sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, Put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, you once were alienated and hostile in mind because of evil deeds. God has now reconciled you in the fleshly body of Christ through his death to present you holy without blemish and irreproachable before him, provided 
that you persevere in the faith, firmly grounded, stable, and not shifting from the hope of the gospel that you heard, which has been preached to every creature under heaven, of which I, Paul, I'm a minister. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God himself is my help. God himself is my help. O God, by your name save me, and by your might defend my cause. O God, hear my prayer. Hearken to the words of my mouth. God himself is my help. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord sustains my life. Freely will I offer you sacrifice. I will praise your name, O Lord, for its goodness. God himself is my help. Please all stand. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was going through a field of grain on the Sabbath, his disciples were picking the heads of grain, rubbing them in their hands, and eating them. Some Pharisees said, Why are you doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? Jesus said to them in reply, Have you not read what David did when he and those who were with him were hungry? How he went into the house of God took the bread of offering, which only the priest could lawfully eat, ate of it, and shared it with his companions. Then he said to them, The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good day, my dear brothers and sisters. Today is Saturday in the 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. The first reading is from the letter of Paul to the Colossians. Paul reminded the Colossians during the time to turn on to Jesus because they were praying to angels as much as to Jesus. Parang nagdatasal sila sa mga anghel, pero naisasantabi si Jesus. That's why Paul reminded them and was telling them, it is Jesus who reconciled you to God. It is Jesus who reconciled us to God. It's good to pray to angels, to our guardian angels, to our angels to protect us from the evil. It is good to pray to the saints. They were interceding for us. They were praying for us. It's good to pray to the Blessed Virgin. She will pray for us. She will protect us. But let us not forget Jesus, our Lord, our God. It is through Jesus that we have been reconciled to God. It was through Jesus that we have been brought back to God. And that was the point of Paul, reminding the Colossians. That's why for us, the Eucharist is the highest form of prayer because we receive God Himself in Jesus. And second, in the Gospel of Luke, it is about Sabbath. Jesus never forbade good works. Rather, he, he 
He reminded them not to work during the Lord's day that will lead them away or bring them farther away from God. That was a reminder of Jesus. It is not to forbid them to do good works. It was to forbid them to work that will forget them about Jesus, about God. Because the Sabbath day, it is only for the Lord. It is for you to rest, to be re-energized because of the human dignity that we have to take care of our bodies. Kaya Jesus, hindi naman talaga pinagbawal yung gumawa ng mabuti, kundi ang magtatrabaho. Trabaho na kung saan nakakalimutan ang Diyos. And it is a day for us to rest, to be reminded of our human dignity that we are not, in, we are not robots, and we are not machines, we are humans created through the image and likeness of God. Oh, kaya nga, lahat naman tayo are guilty of this. There are times we say bad words to others, kahit na jokingly, oh, parang hindi rin talaga tama. We are all guilty of this. Kahit na pabiro. Yan. Oh, and but then it is a good reminder. We have to spend time for ourselves, spend time to Jesus, with Jesus rather. Huwag natin kakalimutan yan. May Jesus continue to teach us and guide us. Please rise for the prayers of the faithful. Let us pray to God our Father who has called us all his sons and daughters to become free in his Son Jesus Christ. For every petition, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians may regard the commandments of God as doors to freedom from sin and evil. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who work in law enforcement and government may consistently place the welfare of the people above legalistic concerns. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That in worshiping the God whom we cannot see, we may not forget our needy brothers whom we see. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may heal those who suffer from various physical and spiritual maladies. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may now rest in the company of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us include in our prayers the thanksgiving and petitions offered in this Mass. Especially we pray for Robert Chan. And for those celebrating their birthdays and anniversaries, may God bless them. And for those who are sick, that God may heal them. And for the repose of all the souls, including the soul of Benjamin Simon Boral. In the silence of our hearts, let us offer to God all of our prayers and petitions. Lord God, let every command of yours be to us an invitation to love and to serve our brothers and sisters, to understand and to respect, to guide and to be guided. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just to shoot in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Is that to celebrate in love? Is the resurrection we confess with living faith? And is coming in glory, we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise us without end. We acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore the scriptures we pray, descending on the Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For it is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Please stand. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that they have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. How do we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, all the bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostle, Saint Lorenzo Ruiz and companions, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, he may merit to be called heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together let us sing the Lord's Prayer.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, you may be always free from sin and saved from all distress. As we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, may peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to receive you. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. rise. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and steer us to serve you in our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. Again, thank you for joining our online Mass. Uh, please continue to be with us in our masses through our online, uh, through this online uh, program. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Mabuting araw po sa inyong lahat.